Island again and uh, I'm heading over uh, to my Airbnb right now. Um, this time I think we're, I'm gonna do some training too, but I'm gonna show some uh, uh, like places to buy gear and all that kind of stuff. For this time, I got uh, a nice condo near the gym. It's uh, probably 12 minutes away from the gym. And uh, it's not the, the biggest condo, but it's pretty nice. Uh, it's $30 a night. So I'm here like six days, six nights, and it's probably like, no, it's maybe cheaper. It was like $150, $160. And, uh, wow, where's the, uh, uh, shower's all modern, the toilet's modern, uh, it's not bad, I, I think, uh, if you stay at the gym, you, you definitely get better training, I believe it's easier, and the, the, the fun of it is, like, you know, half the fun of it is, like, you know, eating dinner with everybody else and things like that, but, uh, I'm like 38 years old and I want a toilet that flushes. <laughs> but, you know, you know you, either way you can't, you can't go wrong, wrong uh, long term or short term. But I definitely, um, for your first couple of tries, I definitely recommend uh, staying at the gym. Because uh, that itself is, uh, is an unbelievable, amazing experience. So I'm here. So the first thing I do when I arrive here the next morning, I don't go straight to training because I'm, you know, I'm too old for that. But uh, I go to MBK, like uh, one of the biggest malls here, and then I buy whatever necessities out of like towels, underwear, shirts, socks, you know, things like that. And then I go to the National Stadium, which is. Uh, no, it's actually the same station. Then I walk like 10 minutes to uh, uh, Action Zone, or maybe there's like a bunch of Muay Thai gear stores, so I just uh, buy my gear. And then in the afternoon, I start training. So now uh, I'm waiting at the Punawi uh, <coughs> TPTS station. It's uh, about like five minutes away from my condo. Uh, yeah, so this is the first thing I do. Get my stuff and my gear. So this is Tokyo, where I buy all my uh, uh, just like just regular regular stuff, like shirts and socks and underwear, and maybe some of my sneakers and shorts. But, So this is now I'm um, inside uh, MBK and this place is insane. This place has anything and everything from food to fig watches, clothing, um, everything. You movie theaters uh, and also you can buy Muay Thai gear but I wouldn't do that because uh, they sell. They sell some shady stuff here, but pretty fascinating place. From here, you could go to Action Zone. There's a couple of Muay Thai gear shops, which is like about 10 minutes away. From so usually after I shop at MBK, I go to uh, uh, Action Zone and the other uh, Muay Thai shops. So basically, I'm here at uh, where a bunch of uh, Muay Thai gear shops are. And they are, it's about like a 10 minute walk from MBK. So you can uh, you know, get your whatever you need, MBK or Tokyo, and, and then just come here and they have a lot of stuff. Uh, this is all mostly Muay Thai gear. Mostly Muay Thai gear. And I usually, I go here usually. Oh, you know what? I'll get... Uh, uh, Okay, I'll get one of these, Windy. That's my uh, favorite brand. Windy. Uh, also, uh, maybe. Windy, good? Okay. Okay, uh, what else? There's so many stuff here, it's incredible. Twins, Windy. Oh, that Twins looks nice. Uh, 
also gonna print special this fair tip. It's okay, I'll get yellow in 12 ounce. Ah. Yellow in 12 ounce. Top king. Top king. Uh, yes. That's one more. What else? Maybe this ice cream. Friends, twelve ounce. I will do this. I'll do this. Okay, this. Okay. I think I'm gonna get two shorts. This should uh, be enough. Uh, so this and this. Yeah. You want this one and this one. Yes. So uh, I spent 7,630 baht, uh, bought three pairs of gloves. He gave me a tiny bit of discount, uh, two shorts, and uh, three wraps. So that's $250 for three gloves, two shorts, three wraps. It's not bad. I mean, like, it's just, I guess it's not like crazy cheap, like how you see, but if you buy, like, for a boon, you could buy a glove for $30. And actually, one of my twins gloves are thirty dollars, but there's, I don't know, uh, there's like some kings and like some of the gloves are a little bit overpriced, I guess. But you know, it's just it's a, it's a lot of stuff to choose from, and that's uh, it's very exciting and fun. Uh, but uh, you know, two fifty, not bad, not bad. I think I'm gonna come back and uh, buy uh, buy some. Food. And now I'm gonna go get some food and. Uh, uh, get a little rest and then I'm gonna go train. And then <laughs> oh no, that pissed. Everything, raw jump ropes, uh, shank guards, they have everything. And Boone is one of those brands that like you can buy stuff on eBay, but you know, it's a, you, know, you can find twin, the ferret tag, but Boone is like a much more, I feel a more local brand, although I think it's like an Australian guy running the company, I think, or he created it. Anyways, uh, it's a little bit cheaper. Then Ferret Tags or Twins, uh, maybe the shorts not so much, but it, it's a really cool brand. Um, I would definitely make the trick. Uh, so you get off at Onnut, you get off at Onnut on the BTS station. Uh, and then uh, it's like about a 20 minute walk, I think. You just go straight down Soy 81. And once you hit a dead end, you take a left. And then maybe it's like another uh, seven minute walk from there. Oh my God. It's crazy. Um, so definitely go to Boone. I don't think the, the other stores carry their stuff. They only have their own uh, merchandise. So here I am at Boone. You can't miss it. Once you take a left on the dead end, well, yeah, probably five minutes. It's, uh, you'll see that. It says Boone. And uh, this is it. And this little place has a lot of uh, cool stuff. So, 
twenty dollars, twenty dollars, and this is maybe this is uh, fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars and thirty or twenty dollars. I don't know. I can't do the math. But, uh, you know, I think Boon is has uh, much more of a bargain than uh, these other places that sell like fair tags and twins and all that stuff. You know, these shorts uh, really haven't changed, but they're still cool. You know, they're still cool. Um, uh, and even the gloves really haven't changed either, but you know, they're they're more reasonable and they're very, they good quality. Like I would, I always come here and I always buy stuff. But you, you could get different kinds. So in total it was 4,520 baht, uh, which is about a, uh, $150 for a pair of gloves, three cool uh, shorts, and uh, three uh, hand wraps. That's not bad. It's definitely much, much cheaper than uh, Fairtex or uh, Twins, Twins gloves for sure. Um, and I guess, you know, I really, they, they really haven't updated their uh, design, so maybe that's their, uh, uh, but the price hasn't really changed. It was the same price, so. Anyways, it's a good deal. So, if you come to uh, train in Bangkok, you should definitely come to Boon. Uh, much, much cheaper and uh, great, great quality. Uh, uh, early in the morning, right now it's 7.20. And uh, Bangkok is like almost like, not at every street, but a lot of streets have like tons of uh, street food. And I think uh, people in Bangkok, at least, uh, they don't um, cook breakfast for the most part. They, they, they actually buy, they wake up early and they go buy breakfast uh, at the street, which I believe. There's tons of fruit, fruits, uh, noodles, skewers, like everything and anything. It's pretty amazing. It's too bad I can't. I'm gonna go run right now because I can't eat anything. But uh, it's pretty amazing. And this is not like really like central central part of Bangkok where there's like tons of things. It's a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's, it's central, but you know, a little bit out there. But, like they cook everything, like with uh, oil or coal. And everything's so good, it's so cheap. I have to run.